Why is true love so difficult to find? I think that that question was asked in anticipation of Valentine's Day. And I would say the only reason that humans can imagine that true love is hard to find is because we look in all the wrong places. <laughs> true love, capital T, capital L, is, is, is our divine self, is our self that's unconditional love. And so when we begin to align with that or begin to discover that that's possible actually to unconditionally love means to give the benefit of the doubt and to choose to see things as a call for love and that other people might be having a hard time or not have the capacity at this time to, to rise to the occasion to be loving at that particular moment. But we can fill in the gaps and we can show up and be the ones that offer, you know, non-judgment and, and peace and ease and all those beautiful things that we offer in the meditation that we just did tonight, you know, just see this world as, as a better place because we're in it, bringing love, anchoring love, choosing love unconditionally, no matter what. And when we start to do that, when we start to embody this unconditional love, then something happens, we're more magnetic, we're not repulsive anymore to, to situations or people or, or places or things. We begin to magnetize what most enhances our capacity to love. So we might magnetize some people who are giving dramatic calls for love, but then we show up with even more love than we thought we had. This allows for us to see true love. When that happens, then we're not as fearful or defensive about having relationships. And we allow for people to come and maybe go in our life. They come and they go. And, and we realize that all relationships are an experience of love or lack of love, but we can bring love to them. They're only an opportunity to love. Once you realize that all relationships are an opportunity to love, whether it's with a table or whether it's with uh, your car or whether it's with a human being or a family member or somebody who you, you just met that you in passing on the street offer you know, kindness, you start to realize that true love is present and available always. It's, it's we are the ones who shut it out or turn off our capacity to see it or to engage with it. Um, I suppose you mean in that question about true love meaning a romantic partnership. I highly, highly recommend if you think that true love is hard to find, that you find it within you first, that that's the first and foremost journey that you're focusing on, that you allow for yourself to spend quality time finding out what you love most, what makes your heart sing, what makes you feel like you're overflowing with, with a presence and capacity to enjoy and exude and, and be in full enthusiasm around other people. Let yourself love yourself more than you ever knew is possible. And you'll begin to see that true love is not evasive, that it's available always. And then you'll see that if that's an intention of yours to bring someone into your life that can share that kind of beautiful experience with you, they'll arrive. I promise you, if you love yourself impeccably first, then the perfect partners will arrive for you in all kinds of ways, in beautiful experiences, partners for for um, endeavors that might be, you know, with work or um, people in your family might show up even more present than ever before. And then also people that can be enhancing your life in, in a beautiful and romantic way as well. It doesn't exclude that. It includes that, but only includes it once you're connected completely and entirely to yourself.